These are 585 model Bluntstones, and after 8 years of beating them to the ground, they are still kicking. I have not even washed them once. And in this review, I'll be talking about my experiences with them and how they are the perfect boot to own for a long time. With every footwear I buy, I ensure that I have wiggle room for my toes as I have pretty wide and big feet for my size. Having to break in leather boots is a no-go for me, so I went true to size, which happened to give me that wiggle room. The good thing about Blundstones is that the stabilization and locking point of the boot to your feet is not by your forefoot or toes, it's actually by your heel and instep. However, this can be an issue if you have a rather tall instep. This means you will need to wear and wait for the leather to give way to fit you properly. In that case, I would suggest a laceable boot as opposed to this style of Chelsea boots as it can adjust a little bit better for your instep. They currently cost $249 Canadian or $229 American. So yes, it is actually much more affordable to buy them in Canada than it is in the States. These 585 Blundstones are the best all-rounder. It's a great boot for rainy days, going out for a walk with your dog, camping, short hikes, washing your car, and even walking in the snow. However, there are a few activities I wouldn't wear these for, such as going for a run, going for to the beach, or in general, super hot weather. My pair of Blundstones have not been cleaned or maintained at all. I know I could put leather conditioner or something else to keep the leather malleable, but so far I do not see the need for it at all. I do not have cracking issues or too much of a crease in any of the leather. So far, they are still super easy to slip on and slip off, but I do find the front pull tab a bit weird looking. However, it is iconic to Blundstone's unique look. The biggest caveat that I have with the Blundstones is that it isn't the greatest at providing comfort for a long time. Walking in the city and being on your feet standing for a while, you'll start to feel the fatigue in your heel and the ball of your feet. The insole that came with the boot was very mediocre. I would recommend taking those out and getting some Ortholite X40 performance insoles. Check the link in the comments for a pair. Because you've watched this far, it means you like my video, so hit that subscribe button if you have not already, and go check out my other videos. This has been Billy Visuals, y'all just got visualized, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.